Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Dash Mini Waffle Maker. So I've had the bigger waffle makers, but this thing is so small, I thought, you know, if I can store it, I might use it more often. But the last waffle maker I had was, was really big, and I ended up getting rid of it. Okay, so be, be careful with it. I just dropped it a little bit and it chipped off some of that, so. Oh geez, it cracked it. Huh. I don't know if it was like that or what. Didn't think I dropped it that hard. But here's what it is. So they sell this thing for about 10 bucks. And it comes in all different um, shapes. You can get different designs, rabbits and flowers. And this is just a traditional waffle maker. It comes in several different colors. So it's about six inches by five inches. And it sits about three inches tall. But the big thing is how big a waffle. So it's looking to make about a three and three quarter, almost a four inch waffle. So the cord is 32 inches long. It's two prong. There's just not a lot to this thing. It says it's 350 watts, 120 volts, 60 hertz. It's got these little feet. It's hinged. Seems well built except for that little, again, I don't know if I did that or not. I, can't, I don't think I did. It's got like a light here. So they want you to clean it. Unfortunately, you can't put that in a dishwasher or nothing. So you just got to use a towel with some soap on it to kind of just rinse it off and, and wipe it off. Okay, so the theory behind it is it, this indicator light. So when we first plug it in, the indicator light comes on. After it's reached optimal cooking temperature, the indicator light will automatically shut off. Now you're ready to cook. Spray a little bit of cook, uh, cooking oil on there and then pour your batter on there. Then it just says, once the waffle's cooked to your preference, carefully remove it from the cooking surface. When you're finished, unplug the waffle maker and allow it to cool down. So it sounds like anytime it's plugged in, it's going to be heating up. There's no automatic feature. There's no uh, bells or whistles that are going to tell you it's done. You've just got to kind of like time it and then just keep track of that time. And then each time you'll probably cook it that much each time. So, and it's pretty, just can't get over how small this thing is. So let's make some batter and cook some waffles. Okay, I've got the waffle mix made. I just, I did the classic waffles. One cup flour, one tablespoon sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, quarter salt, one egg, one cup of milk, and two tablespoons of melted butter or vegetable oil. Okay, so let's plug the unit in. You can see the, the light is on. It's a little hard to see, but yeah, it's on. So it says you're supposed to lightly grease. I've got a little bit of um, oil here, vegetable oil, just to kind of put over it. That might be too much. I've already wiped this down and kind of cleaned it, so. Okay, so I've got a light coating of oil. I'm gonna close it. Now we need to wait for that light to go out. Okay, so the light went out after about a minute. Didn't take long at all. It's kind of hot. It kind of popped a little bit when the light went out. So let's just see. 416, four, yeah, so that's 400 degrees. Okay, so I'm probably gonna make a mess, but let's the, the lid does stay up. It is very hot. I don't know exactly how much to pour in. Okay, and then let's close it. Now, again, it doesn't, I don't know exactly how long. I'll have to kind of keep track and then remember it each time. So the light came on, so it is cycling, keeping the temperature up. You've got to leave it plugged in this entire time. When we're done with the waffles, we'll unplug it. Mm, smells good. So that, that mixture was enough for eight to 10 waffles. Yeah, that, that's a big quantity there. So I would probably have that get down to about five waffles. So it looks like the machine is raising up a little bit from the, from the waffle cooking. I might have put too much stuff in it. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely lifting itself up. Starting to get some, some cooking steam coming off of it. 
It smells really good. I'll see if I can take a peek. Yeah. Again, just not sure how long to let it sit there. All right, so we're starting to get a lot of smoke. I don't want to burn it, so let's... Wow, that did a really good job. I might have wanted to let it stay in there a little bit longer, but that's, wow. Let's try another one, not so much. Okay, now let's close the lid. So the lid starts off closed. And if you put too much in there, it will raise. So, you know, it's hard to tell, but that, that waffle does look done. Might be just a little underdone, but not much. So I put a little syrup on it. It tastes, it tastes delicious. I, I'm pretty impressed with that little thing. Again, I might be more inclined to keep it. If it's so little, I can put it in a drawer and forget about it. So I'm not sure to keep checking on it or... Nope, definitely not done. So that's okay if you got a bunch of steam coming off of it. I think that just means it's not burning it. That means it's just got some... The milk is steaming off or something. That means it's just cooking. So this time it didn't raise. It didn't, it didn't lift up on its own. All right, so let's see. That, you know... That looks a little bit more done. I mean, in, I want to say less than a minute, you can have a waffle. Boy, it's maintaining pretty good temperature. The bottom cooled off, but let's close it. So there's that. Getting Adding the right amount is going to be tricky. That's at the top. Again, you can see there's some holes where I didn't add enough. So let's try to add another. This is kind of fun. I love waffles. I don't know if you let it filter around, let it kind of close up those holes before you close the lid. I'm not sure. A lot to play around with here. Then close the lid. Okay, so the second waffle tasted a lot better. It makes very good waffles. So this isn't a machine you're going to be able to set and forget. You're going to have to baby it. So if you want to make four or five waffles, I would think once you have everything made up, I think you can make them in about five minutes, five, six minutes. But you're going to have to kind of watch it and baby it. So I added a little bit more. There it's lifting up. I don't know if we should, if you should try to press that down. It doesn't really want to press down. So I, I have found you can, be careful, there is a lot of steam. This handle can get hot, but you can kind of give a sneak peek and see how it's doing. So you're just going to have to give yourself like, look real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's about done. So be careful. The outside lid gets 200 degrees down by the feet though, or is cold. Okay. So yeah, that one looks done. Wow. Wow. I am super impressed with that little thing. Well, I, I had a viewer that kept requesting a waffle maker, and I just was a little hesitant on doing it, but I'm glad I did it. Um, this one really intrigued me because of, the, of how small it was. Again, I've had the big waffle makers. They're like George Foreman's. You know, they're just great big things that are hard to get out, hard to store. I just can't believe how small this thing is and how, how nice it works. So I'm definitely going to keep this one, and I'm definitely going to be making waffles now. So thanks, everybody, for watching.